this is part design tutorial 104 so in this tutorial we will design this part 104 so <coughs> so let's start uh, so when I launched the free cat I get the part design workbench as a default because uh, I have set the part design workbench under edit preferences and here is the I set the part design workbench so whenever I launch free cat I get this part design workbench as default so I will click on new part I will create body and I will create sketch and I will select this XY plane and I will create my sketch so here I will draw two circles one small and other is big so my outer diameter is of radius 50 so I will give diameter 100 and inside diameter is not given so I will assume it as 30 and and I will draw two horizontal line I will draw two horizontal line I will select this and this I will move my dimension a little bit outside now I will make it tangent so I will click tangent and I will click on this and this I do not want this middle portion so simply I will trim it trim it and I will also trim this and this now I will select the polyline and draw my profile here 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 and here so <coughs> as you see that it uh, FreeCAD automatically applies the constraint but here it has not been applied so I will make it horizontal <coughs> now uh, I will give my dimensions so I will select this point and this I will select center point and this point and vertical and I will make it 193.3 and this is 30 so I will select this line and this horizontal line and make it 30 and this is 35 so I will select this line and this line as a 35 now other side is the uh, same 35 so I will select this line and this line and make it equal and from center to this it is 100 so I will select this line and make it 100 and our this line is this line is equal I select this and this and make it equal so our sketch is fully constrained now I will close this and I will give the pad so pad uh, my width is 100 so I will <coughs> I will give dimension here I will give hundred and I will make it symmetric to the plane and I will click on OK so this is our base base body and uh, now we will make cut so we can go here in our uh, model tree we can rename it I will rename it as a part 104 now we will go to the sketch and we wanted to make a cut so we will select XYZ plane click on OK and uh, <coughs> we will project these two edges and draw two rectangles this and this but if you see that our sketch is not visible it is hidden inside the body so we will go here and we will click on wireframe now we will make this point and this point as coincidence 
this point and this point as a coincidence and both are the 35 so what I will do I will select this line and this line and give dimension 35 and I will select this line and this line and I will make it equal so cut of the height is not given so I will approximately assume it so I will select this line and horizontal dimension of 100 and I will make this line and this line as equal and I will press the zero button on my keyboard so it will go to the isometric view so you see that uh, our sketch is fully constrained now we will close it and make a cut so here we will go use the cut tool and we will change our representation from shaded or shaded to flat lines so here I will uh, go to, as we completely remove the material so we will select through all and select here symmetric plane so both the side it will remove the material and we will click on OK now <coughs> if we see our uh, model uh, we have made this uh, whole base body and we have made this cut now we will make this slotted cut so for that we will select this face and we will create on sketch and for our simplicity we will go to the hidden lines oh, sorry wireframe so now we will draw a s we will select this and on this axis uh, we will draw a circle it is diameter 50 so we will select diameter 50 here and now <coughs> I will select polyline and uh, I will draw approximate line like this and I will select tangent 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 and I will go to the trim I will trim this area and I will select this and this now here we are not getting the tangent edges so we will move to the shaded with flat lines so here we will uh, project two edges to give the dimensions so I will click on project geometry options and I will project these two points here now I select this line and this point and I give horizontal dimension of 200 200 and <coughs> and I will also project this one here and uh, I will make it vertical constraint so our sketch is fully constrained so we will press 0 and uh, <coughs> now we close it and we will remove the material we will select cut and we will select through wall or we can say the symmetric also but uh, which is not required now we will update it we will press 0 <coughs> so now here is a fillet of 50 so we will select this uh, sorry we will select this edge and you fill it as a 50 mm so it is not taking there some error in the model in the in the drawing view so will make it 20 and add so this way we we will add the fillet so <coughs> but here uh, we have seen that uh, this is not good so I will delete it 
so before this pocket before this pocket uh, we have to radially remove the material so I will make it invisible and I will select on this face I will select on this face and create the sketch and here is the I will draw a three point arc and I will project this point and this point create arc and point make coincidence make coincidence then make tangent make tangent make tangent and I will also project this point and I will make it tangent okay now we will remove this material instead of giving the fillet so we will select this point and join this point and this point with and uh, I will make it tangent and I will uh, trim the unnecessary geometry okay so our sketch is fully constrained now we will close the sketch and we will go to the cut and we will say through all okay now we will press 0 now we will have to mirror this on the other side so we will see it we will select on the <coughs> So we have we will mirror it with respect to our mid plane. So how to use the mirror tool in FreeCAD? So <coughs> for that we have to click on the mirror tool, and we will see that which features we want to mirror. So our last feature is pocket 001. So I will select pocket 001. This feature I want to mirror. I will click on OK. Now we wanted to mirror with respect to xy plane so here is a we select xy plane I will click OK so it will get metered now previously the sketch we have draw now we will make it visible and now we go to the extrude cut ok so <coughs> here is a problem with our previous sketch so better we will delete it we will select the face create sketch and we will move to the hidden line sorry on wireframe and we will we will draw a rectangle here we will draw one rectangle and uh, give it dimension better to uh, we will go with a circle instead of rectangle so we will select this and this and our diameter is 50 so we will click on the diameter 50 and move our dimensions and I will select the polyline and I will draw a polyline like this and I will make it tangent tangent and simply remove the unnecessary geometry which I do not want I do not want this this and this and uh, we will move to the our uh, without shaded view and we will project this line so that we can give dimensions so I will select this point and this point and give horizontal dimension of uh, 200 
so there is some graphical issue so I will go to the flat lines now as we wanted to cut the material so we will keep this line outside so I will simply select this line and give around 60 mm in fact this dimension is not important so our sketch is fully constrained we will press 0 go to the isometric view we will close it we will go to the cut and here we make true all and click on ok so if you see the model here model 104 so we have exactly made our models now we will work on appearances so I will go to the appearances and I will give the relevant color to this so which will be most probably this one and I will click OK so as you see we have exactly drawn our models part 104 so <coughs> we'll press 0 so come to the isometric view so this is the part modeling for 104 in the next section I will cover part model 105